Hi everyone, we're coming to you today from Fort Casey State Park here on the southwest side of Whidbey Island. This fort was built back in the late 1800s to help protect Puget Sound. The gun emplacements have all been taken out. All that's left now is a beautiful state park. Tomorrow we're going to be heading out to go after some Chinook salmon. We'll be fishing the mid-channel bank and it's uh, mid-July, so this is a great time to be out here fishing. We'll be guests on a Northwest Fishing Report member Randy's fishing boat, and I have Mark Nordahl with me as well, helping with the camera duties. So I'm Mike Carey, you're watching Northwest Fishing Reports. Let's go fishing. sitting there with probably a big school of coho right here. But, apparently we can't fish for coho this year. Here we are, we're out on mid-channel bank and I'm fishing with Randy and Mark from Northwest Fishing Reports. We're in Randy's brand new Thunder Jet. We've got our lines down for Chinook. We're waiting for the first fish of the day, so stay tuned and see how we do. Sean. Randy, you put us in the fish pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, with this weather, you never know what's going to happen, but... All the rod, dude. <laughs> yeah. Better than coffee. Yeah, there you go. Sure, I'm... Cold anymore, I'm munching <laughs> yeah, on, not cold anymore, that's right. I'm munching on a fritter and you're grabbing the rod. Uh, priorities. <laughs> Fishing on Mid Channel Bank. Come up over the top of me. <laughs> this fish is hot, man. Holy cow. Their line's on top. I'm feeling like the odd man out here. Did you have these rods down, Randy? Approximately 110 feet. And you're using uh, spoons, right? Yep. We'll show those in a moment. <laughs> oh, my tail. Oh, there's yours. That's my, I got my flash, right?
fish or what, Mark? No, I'm just gonna keep him on till lunch. <laughs> there he is again. that fish Randy basically it means I'm done and all I get to do is drive the boat <laughs> nice fish. so what we like to see he's clipped he is the old clipped. wound at the tail there is yep. beautiful Adipo fish spin. he's dripping all over my boat called a herring aid spoon Mark it's sunrise and you already caught yourself your first fish yeah, it's a good morning. Don't yep. need coffee when it stays like this. That was a beauty of a fish. It was too. gorgeous, yeah. Yeah, it was, was a nice fish. He was a uh, 20 pound class, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, hopefully the next one will have one less fin. So this fishery is less about how fast the boat is going than it is the downriver cable angle. And um, so I'm constantly watching the downrigger cable to, to make sure it's at like 60 or 70 degrees going into the water and you're trolling the right speed. Bump right there. Bring it up about five feet and we're fishing. Took a nice run. Woo. What a fantastic fishery out here at Mid Channel Bay. He's got a 
got a little spunk. He still got a bit left. You want this other line in or not? No, we'll do it. I had it for a moment. It took a nice run. He might be bigger than I thought he was. <laughs> Well, I got my fish. We're down to one to go. You get one fish uh, this year out here on the uh, Mid Channel Bank, but isn't that a beautiful Chinook? Took him right off the bottom. Randy's got us on the fish. So we're going to reset and make another run up uh, Mid Channel Bank. We're heading south on the incoming tide. This will be our last run. We'll have to turn around and start coming back up the other direction. So what we're doing, um, we're getting ready to reset the gear. I'm going to um, put the scent on the spoons again. This happens to be a pretty cream. Take a little bit of the scent here. And you want to just put a real thin layer on here because you don't want to affect the action of the spoon. Go down about a hundred. Behind us there is Fort Flagler, and we picked something off the bottom. Maybe it's a ling or a going up halibut. Like in. Big old rockfish. Like we got. Looks like a halibut. Halibut. Well, you never know what you're gonna get here in Puget Sound. Yeah, I think it's a halibut. It's a bucket. <laughs> it's a dogfish. So well, that's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for right there. Yeah. We're burning a little line. Oh yeah. Woohoo! Not wanting to give any back. No, that's amazing. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> this is the go home fish. So what do you think, Mark? Mid-channel bank works for you? Yeah, this works for me. Oh, there he goes. Oh, you see that splash back there? I like keeping it in gear to keep the boat ahead of the fish. Right. Mark's getting tired. <laughs> He's going right. to need a backup. I've been practicing my float on the world. Oh, this fish is good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there he is. Boy, these fish are fun. Yeah, they are. Oh, that's a nice fish. Holy crap. Wow. Finless. Uh oh. Um, no, no. Walk him up over the top of the rod if you can, or let him. Yeah. He's off. 
Yeah, don't don't lift his head out of the Yeah! Oh, nice! Stick a fork in it. We are nice. done. Nice! 140 feet right off the bottom. Wow. What a beautiful fish. Yeah. That make a guy happy. Randy, what an amazing day we've had here today. Really good AM bite out there on Mid Channel Bank. And about 9, 10 o'clock, you moved us over around the point, point uh, that's Fort Flagler. Why did you do that? Well, when fishing Mid Channel Bank is, uh, is the flood tide starts to slow down. For some reason, a lot of bait and fish will come up into the, the bay south of the point. And it's just kind of a matter of figuring out which depth. I mean, we got some shakers, and that was obviously the wrong depth. Yeah. I saw a meter mark at 139 feet. We dropped down on it, and a couple minutes later, we were fish on. Yeah, we saw lots of bait balls, and uh, you were saying we're going to get one of these fish. Um, lots of big meter marks. So it was just a matter of time, and putting in the time is what it's all about. The gear that you get, uh, had us set up today, Really nice looking flashers. So a little bit of similarity. I don't know what it is. It's just me maybe, but the red and green. Um, in this case, it's got the globe back and this one's same thing or no, it doesn't. Anyway, it's kind of my go-to. Yeah. Um, actually all weekend long, we fished yesterday also and did well. We fished these uh, three, three and a half inch coyote spoons. This one's herring aid, and this is cookies and cream. And this one's losing its paint from all the fish it caught. Yeah, yeah, and uh, both of them are. And partly it's because we're dragging the gear in the bottom. Yeah. Which is critical for the mid-channel bank fishery for Chinook. Yep. The co coho is a whole different story. So we're but, bouncing the ball and then letting it come up three, four feet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, as far as my leaders, everybody does it differently. I run a 42-inch leader. Every single one of my Chinook leaders is 42 inches on the nose. Um, there's people that go 46. There's people that do other things, but got to believe in what you're presenting. And well, today it worked, so. Today it worked, and the proof's in the pudding. Take a look at these beautiful fish. Randy, again, Mark and I want to thank you for taking us out. We had a blast. And... Uh, I hope some people get out here and take advantage of this fishery. Yeah, and I was glad to have you guys. I mean, I've been fishing this since I was probably in my early teens, and it's one of my very favorite fisheries on Puget Sound. I can see why. Hey, everyone. We'll see you guys on the water and online.